Hello and welcome to the presentation of the Inpuncto Invoice Cockpit for SAP. You handle a lot of invoices every day, thousands of invoices. So the absolute need you have is to have the transparency and overview over these different processes. So the Inpuncto Invoice Cockpit ensures you to have the complete transparency about these processes. And for the second, you have many possibility to interact with these workflows. So you can set reminder, you forward the workflow items, you define a new agent to, uh, to work on this process, for example. And at least we have the possibility to include several management reports, for example, for financial situation. So have a look on the invoice cockpit for Impunto. We start the invoice cockpit with a double click. And the first thing you see that we have the possibility to set a filter to select after different criterias. We have the possibility to select after technical criterias, missing barcodes. We have the selection after commercial details, for example, the company code or the supplier or the invoice number from the supplier, for example. Then you have the possibility to have the selection uh, after among assignment, the cost center, order, and so on. And of course, we have the possibility to select after state of the workflows and in which state of the workflows, for example, in validation, accounting assignment or in posting situation, the, the workflow is. So we have many possibilities. For the example, I set no filter and we get a complete overview about the STEMO system. Every workflow uh, now is listed. And the first point, the complete transparency and overview is for the first, you have a lot of columns here. And of course, you can define your lay layout individual. So you can sort, you can uh, uh, add some, some uh, columns, for example, and, and so on. The second is uh, that you have an actual status information. This means we know exactly where the invoice, uh, in which status the invoice is, for example. Uh, here, for example, this is a very new invoice, just scanned, for example, and now the first address is in the, in the accounting uh, group. Another example, we have he, here somebody who is um, in, um, in validation. This means we have uh, accounting information. We got inside the approval process, different persons have to sign this, this invoice. And at least this one here, this is a posted, this is a, a posted uh, invoice. The workflow is finished, but of course it's still alive inside the SAP system. So we have an exact SAP object. And another criteria for the overview and transparency is a functionality of drill down that has, with a single click, we get one level deeper inside the SAP and get the detailed information about the SAP object, for example. Then the next, possibility to interact with the processes. One thing is we have the possibility to set some reminders, for example, or to add some information inside the process. For the process, for example, an additional Excel sheet for calculation if you have and uh, so on. We have, of course, the possibility to say, to forward workflows to another agent. And this means if somebody has no reaction on, on the workflows, then we can identify this person, identify all the workflows who's the person responsible for, and forward these workflows to another to another agent. Then, of course, we have the possibility to include management reports. So this is one example for a management report, and this shows you the pay bill when due. For example, these are all the different invoices in your company separates very new invoices or uh, invoices which are in the middle of the approval process of finished invoices, but uh, they have identified the discount, for example, and you can very easily identify the discount. You uh, speed up the process if you get another priority, for example, to set the priority a level higher. Another report is the active work items as a tree, for example. They have the company, then you can break down the structures of your organization to identify the relevant groups and the relevant persons uh, and identify also the individual work, uh, work items they have 
And uh, so you can interact, you can set reminders, you can forward the, the workflow um, items to another agent, for example. So this is another view on the invoice cockpit uh, with the selection of the groups and selection of the individual users.